We started our business in 1995. We were working out of our home. We were using uh, custom packagers to package our products and then we would fill the trunk, fill the back seat, and we would head out, head out on the road and do some uh, marketing. Our house was in a renovation stage as well as our uh, business was starting up, so everything was chaos around there for the first few years while we were uh, developing the business cardboard and everything sitting in our house and unfinished walls and all unfinished floors. I remember one night we loaded up our vehicle and we headed back home. It was like three o'clock in the morning and we thought, do we really want to go to sleep? Let's just start packaging, load up the vehicle and get going on our sales trip. And that's what we did. After that, we, uh, we put up our own facility uh, in our backyard. We had to put it in containers to keep our products so that we could ship when we needed and after that we uh, had a couple of forklifts there and they're running around in the winter time with the forklifts and the snow banks. We just got to the point where we had no option but to move. We had a distributor, uh, they were out of Burnaby, BC. They were bought out by a larger distributor. We realized at that point then when we got an order for a container load that we needed to expand to a building. The reason we picked Headingley was number one because we live here, number two they have no business tax so that was great. Now it's so nice to have everything organized and to be able to get our products out in a timely manner without uh, having to run back into the back end of containers and that type of thing. It's wonderful having my house back and I got my shop back. It separates the residents and the business. It wouldn't matter if it was Sunday or whatever, you would answer the phone and then it kind of puts you into a business mode instead of just taking a little bit of time for um, us and the family. And as a family business, uh, we have learned to work together. And then when our son joined uh, our uh, company, uh, it was a great privilege to have him and then his wife joined a little while later when the children were in school and uh, we work on each other's strengths, we know each other's weaknesses. I guess the best part is uh, everybody's on the same page, we're all working towards the same goal and that makes it a lot easier to get along and uh, you don't have any issues that way. We are not a retail outlet here and uh, that way we're supporting our, our local businesses. Our product line, basically we have eight different flavors of seasonings for making jerky. We have eight different flavors of seasonings for making sausage. We do uh, fish brines, we do fish seasonings, fish coatings. We have sausage seasoning kits that has casings right with it. So it's a one-stop shop for the consumer. There are recipes that we have commercially reproduced. They are delivered to us and uh, we bring them in and then we package them into our own packaging and get them all boxed, get them on the shelf ready for shipment. And another product we have is Caesar Pleaser and that is a powdered tomato clam cocktail mix. We're shipping all over the world with it, especially to the expat Canadians. Because there's Canadians all over that cannot get their Caesars. One of our family highlights, uh, our daughter uh, Twyla and her husband John, uh, were fostering two little girls for about uh, two and a half years and last year they announced that they are going to adopt them. So we have five wonderful grandsons and now we're going to have two granddaughters.